Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Well, you can see out there, out over the ocean, there's some blue sky and some sun coming in. But up here, mostly gray. Sun's trying to peek through a little bit, catching some sun, but not a ton. So I have to predict the future a little bit and keeping everything running. So the other day I was showing you guys how I'd been running the refrigerator freezer off of this Power Queen 48 volt battery and it was getting a little bit low and I wanted to give it a rest and charge back up. And since I had this 24 volt battery 100% charged, I went ahead and unplugged from the power queen and plugged into here and for the past couple of days uh, I let that refrigerator freezer draw this down and it's down now to about 30 percent and charging with nothing tied into it. So that 24 volt battery did exactly what I wanted it to do. It kept everything running for a couple of days while I let that power queen charge up because I could see I was going to get uh, some pretty decent sun over the past couple of days, and I did. And yesterday, this went up to 100% full, so uh, last night I went ahead and plugged the refrigerator freezer right there, right back into it, and it's only down to 93% full. So someone mentioned to me, and I wanted to just talk about this a little bit, that, you know, I had mentioned that I was operating about 30 percent full to 60 percent full on this and it was mentioned that that's just fine to operate within those uh, parameters for lithium iron phosphate and yes it is and I wouldn't worry about it except I knew that I probably wasn't going to keep up looking at the weather so that's what I have to do I look at the weather quite a bit look at the long range the weekly forecast and although it's not extremely accurate it gives me a little bit of a ballpark of what to run with and how things may change for me in the next few days. So in this case, I made the right choice. I switched over to that 24 volt and then last night put, put that refrigerator freezer back on this and I'm in good shape. So now that 24 volt is going to uh, be able to get charged back up and hopefully if the sun keeps peeking out, you know, adequately, then I won't have to move this around for, you know, until the sun disappears. And as I've mentioned before, the main things that I have to keep running 24 seven out here is the refrigerator freezer, and then uh, a little uh, auxiliary freezer as well, backup freezer. And neither of those draw a huge amount of power, but they do run 24 seven. Now that freezer, there, that's a five cubic foot freezer. Uh, it draws very little power when it's running, about 50 watts, and it only kicks on periodically because everything in there is, is rock solid frozen. And this same thing when it's running, it depending on what the ambient temperature is here. And today's kind of a cool day. We're only getting to about 70 degrees. But I know some of you on the mainland was, would give anything for 70 degrees today. But anyway, these are the two things that run 24 seven. Everything else in the house is very efficient as well, but they don't run 24 seven. And I have that freezer tied into this system. This is a 12 volt. Uh, and what, what have I got? I've got 500 watts of solar coming into this. It's now tied into a Red Odo 200 amp hour. I haven't moved it off of this thing in weeks. And you can see it's, it's nice and full, charging a little bit. That freezer just can't deplete that enough, even in the darker days. And as soon as the sun comes out, it's back up to good. But yeah, so it's a little bit difficult to cycle exactly in what you might consider the sweet spot for lithium iron phosphate. But by paying attention to the weather and looking into the future a little bit, I do pretty darn good. And you can see that that 
five cubic foot freezer. It's not running right now. It's drawing absolutely zero. So whatever I've got coming in off that 500 watt array right now, which is probably not much more than a hundred or so watts, it's still charging this battery up. And I can look at the watt meter on the refrigerator freezer and it's not drawing anything right now either. Like I said, on these cooler days, neither of these appliances run that hard. They only kick on intermittently to hold the temperature at the constant temperature that they are both set for. And now if it stays dark, which it can stay very dark and rainy out here for days or weeks at a time, you know, this is going to go down. And once it gets down to about that 30% uh, or a little bit less, ideally I will switch that over again to that 24 volt system, which since nothing will be into that, it'll be ready to go again. And I just have to do that this time of year. And luckily though, right now, I haven't had to do it that much. I mean, the other day when I switched this over, you know, I just let it run on that 24 volt for two days. The power queen bounced right back up to full, as you can see. And everything for this time of year is doing great. You know, I've got this one, that Redodo behind me, uh, completely full. And then if I come back here and look, I can see... Uh, this system here is in absorption mode now. 90% full, that's 600 amp hours. So considering the time of the year and the weather that is happening right now, which is not actually the best, but because I watch it and I pay attention to the weather and what it's supposed to do, I can keep a pretty good handle on, on all of the power without having to run a generator, even here in this time of year. And, you know, looking way further south from here, uh, they're getting a little bit of sunshine, but up here it's still staying kind of murky. And that's really typical for uh, the weather this time of year at this elevation up here. It'll be a lot sunnier towards the coast in general and along the water, and then you get up into the elevation, and the moisture and the darkness hangs in a little bit better. Now, I am catching sun. Uh, make no mistake about that. I am catching some solar. As you can see, those batteries are charging, even while running loads, but not at full capacity. So that's just how it goes out here. I mean, I do have to look into the future a little bit and make some judgments about what I expect to see. And, of course, a lot of times what it says on the weather app uh, doesn't come close to what is actually happening here. The conditions are fast moving and always changing, but all in all do pretty darn good. Just have to kind of look into the future a little bit. And right now, I mean, you can see I am getting some, some sunshine. Not great but everything's looking pretty full. So, and then, yeah, down there, there's real sunshine, probably about eight miles away, but that's just how it goes. Chase it around a little bit, but yeah, I wanted to mention that because, yeah, I have no problem if it would, if I could just stay in that 30 to 60% range. I mean, lithium uh, iron phosphate is very happy to operate in that range. But I have to take into consideration what tomorrow looks like, what the next day is going to look like. And since I know what my consumption is on a daily basis, when I see those batteries start to get a little bit low, I start moving things around a little bit. I'd rather keep them on the full side, um, especially on these shorter days. But the sun is getting higher every day. And pretty soon a lot of these trees back up in here where it takes a little bit longer uh, in the morning to, before it clears those. Uh, that sun will go straight up very early in the morning and just hang up all day long. And then I will be back into excess. So even right now, uh, on these shorter days, I'm still doing absolutely fine. No generator, no gasoline. Yeah. And just in the few minutes that I've been out here uh, talking to the camera and you guys, you know, this was pea soup 
five minutes ago up there and now I'm getting a nice burst of sun on the solar array over there. Everything's looking great. Going to be pretty well fully charged with all systems to go. And that's just how it goes. All right, everybody. I'm going to head up to the Bungaloha here and uh, chase some power around up there. I'm still setting up a little power up there. Uh, hope to show you guys in the next a week or so how all that's coming together and it is aloha yeah pretty good day all in all no complaints a little cool though <laughs> it's a cold 70